Um, we're kind of a little bit on hold with content. It is quite weird. Um, I don't know what, you know, there's very little weed news around. You have to create what you create in, in the news. But internationally speaking, everything really is on hold, weed, um, weed and all. But I mean, it's what about some rerun edits, Simon? What about rehashing stuff and editing shit out? You've, See, we've, we've looked at that and we've discussed that, which is why we've put up um, a few older pictures from, from sort of back along our adventures. The problem is, as I've sort of discussed with the, with the guys a couple of times, is most of our stuff we took out because it was kind of too rude to put in. <laughs> it's not really like we have much wiggle room in the space of uh, in the ways of like just using the B-roll. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, the same true. Um, yeah. One day, one day we'll auction the the Ducker couple's ten years of B-roll on eBay. Because there's some <laughs> there's some classic outtakes of there's some classic outtakes of years of stuff that never made it onto film because it was just absolutely awful at the time or something. Really? It was about six hours of slow-mo shots in there. <laughs> 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 yes, there is. Yeah, no, there's... In fact, there's, the whole of the N2 has been slow-moed by the crew. We did about a thousand Ks of slow-mo. Oh, my God. Is the camera back for one Well, you know what, guys? It's been really cool catching up with you from Cape Town. We're all in the same boat. I dare say you guys are clipping away as well, probably. We've got clipping going on, everyone's harvesting something or other. And there's no, that's the hardest part for us is the, um, the social interaction of clipping. It used to be like this massive party, but it ain't anymore. It's the weirdest thing. Yeah. I've, I've watched all on clipping. YouTube in the last yeah. week. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm back on YouTube. I've finished with everything else. I'm deep down in the algorithm of fucking the soft white underbelly of YouTube. <laughs> Bunch of weird <laughs> shit. All this fringe stuff going through my head. Really, really. Somebody just put a post up that said she was stopped in a roadblock in Port Alfred the other day and she was smoking a ciggy and the cop threatened to fine her five to ten thousand rand for smoking. Oh, God. <laughs> fuck, who, who mandated this shit? I mean, who the fuck thought of this? Well, can I ask a question? Are they, are they asking in Joburg at the, at the stops, are they asking to see your slips as like proof that you're, uh, that you're out yeah. on a mission? Um, well, I don't know. No one's been pulled over. pulled over. I don't know. We don't know anyone that's been pulled over. We don't even know where there's a roadblock. Uh, a, a, a mate of mine's uh, boyfriend was going to see her. He got stopped and he had a, a cold Coke in his car, thank, like thankfully. But they asked to see slips. Just to like uh, as proof to 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 show that he went to the shops, but he just showed a cold coke, and he's like, I didn't ask for the slip, <laughs> and the cops let him go. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Imagine the cops—they've been running out of coke money for ever since lockdown. They're they're starving as well. <laughs> um, just catch. I reckon if I was going off to my girlfriend or something, I'd have like a whole checkers packet full of groceries with the list of what's in there, as if I've just been to the shops and I'm going home or something. Some sort of prop. But you yeah. think of stuff like that. Because, like, travelling now with six beers is probably the same adrenaline as a kilo of Swazi. Say again, Buzz. Say again, Buzz. Maybe there's a market now for counterfeit till slips. <laughs> ah. Do you see my face lights up there? <laughs> uh, somebody's saying tobacco, booze and hemp CBD stuff is essential in Germany. Yeah, Germany's got some great stuff going with the... With, uh, California um, too, yeah. California. Um, Becky Selly is on TikTok, says Raz Warren. Go check Becky out. <laughs> You're lying, I'm getting TikTok now. <laughs> Thank you, mate. Make sure it's a top cop, man. Try it. Derek Trump said, "Drive with a toilet roll in the car. You know, like get a pack of four twin ply and a slip, and just leave them there all the time." <laughs> you gotta be careful of the date on that slip, though. Uh, somebody yeah. called Joanne Campbell says, I don't think I can smoke any more weed than what I do at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 
Are Everyone's tolerances are going sky high too, so... Yeah. Are you smoking a lot, guys? Yeah, yeah. more than usual. More, more than, than usual. I wonder, yeah. if, I wonder if that's the case with everybody on the live stream, on the thread. Um, I don't know whether I am. I'm, I'm, I, I'm alternating a day on weed and a day on dab, mostly. I have a dab day and then a weed day. Just, well, I'm running out of dab. It's you're so running out of dabs? Oh, fuck, dude. We can't let that happen. There's a I think really started on my dab. the last of it. Yeah, <laughs> I've got none. <laughs> so how much are you going to charge him to deliver that over Carps of Vec? <laughs> 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 Smuggle it in the toilet rolls. Yo. Well, I've been training some ravens. They, they <laughs> <laughs> well, no, you lie. In the in the late nineties, I had a mate in Pretoria that used carrier pigeons to get coke yes. to to, to Joe Bird down the N1. Straight down, the, on, straight down. They followed the road straight down the N1 into Joe Bird. True story. That is amazing. Oh my god. Carrier pigeons <laughs> and coke. Yeah. And the thing it's hit by a bus. <laughs> I'm actually flabbergasted like that's insane. <laughs> How's a carrier pigeon going to carry a 2 litre nowadays though? <laughs> <laughs> or an 18 pack of toilet paper? Are you joking? Start using the hardy dogs, boy. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a whole like, flock papers. of pigeons with ropes attached to them and they're all carrying one like 16 pack of two plus. <laughs> <laughs> Murder of crows, dude. Yeah. <sighs> Um, sure. It's been very cool talking to you guys. You're always a good laugh. We, uh, the hot box is right here for you. When you get, when all of this fucking finishes, we'll end up having the jazz farm party of parties and um, get everybody along to, um, you know, like hug like human beings again and get past all of this shit. Yeah. Uh, Mary Lou's been yeah, making some yeah. very. Mary Lou's made some really cool uh, weed leaf masks. They're very funky. So I wore one of those in a hardware yesterday, which was cool. Yeah. But there's a whole bunch of people wearing funky masks. I mean, it's already, it's like this fashion accessory. It's fucking out there. Yeah. Well, where's yours, Sai? Where, where's your skull one? Oh, yeah, that's deep in the cupboard right now. Yeah. Deep in the cupboard. <laughs> the COVID cupboard. Yeah, anyway, um, thanks thank for having us. Um, thanks for being there. Good luck with the rest of the clip, and I hope you sort the scissor mm -hmm. blisters out and everything's cool. And um, good luck with everything. And we'll see. We should have seen you for the expo, like what, two weeks ago or something, three weeks mm -hmm. ago. But all of that was finished. So um, we'll check you on the flip side. D Day's not finished. It'll morph into something by the end of the year. We're going to do something or other with that. So we'll see you there, guys. Thank you so much for joining us from Cape Town. Okay, one last. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, guys. Love you guys. Peace. Buzz.